Good morning, what's up? Today we're taking a ride up Azusa Canyon and I'm going to be testing out all of my camp gear, finally. The plan is to take a ride up to the Crystal Lake campground and I'm going to give you guys an overview of all of my gear in the next episode. On this episode, I'm just going to take you along for the ride and see what it's like. I hear there might still be some snow up there, so that's pretty exciting. Also going to be breaking in my new tires. These are my Shinco long haul tires. They're supposed to be uh, long lasting. Haven't done too much rides on them, so it'd be nice to take them to the canyons today. In almost every video I post, I get questions on these tank grips. They're from PazomaRacing.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description below because in almost every video, I get multiple questions about this. Um, they have three colors, they have black, brown, and light brown. This is the light brown color, again, at PazomaRacing.com. Um, check it out. Ooh, my jacket is toasty. I've been needing a ride like this so bad get into the woods, disconnect for a little bit. Perfect day, wow. That stream is flowing. Get some gravel. So this is Azusa Canyon. If you guys uh, don't know. Wow, look at that. It's like a dam, some water flowing. We get excited out here in California when we see water. Or at least I do. So it's starting to feel like camping season here in SoCal. The weather's warming up, the snow's melting, and um, I'm ready to go camping. But before I fully commit to it, I want to make sure I test out my gear I picked up a lot of like backpacking, camping gear. I figured that would be the best gear for motorcycling because it's lightweight. Um, it packs small, you know, backpacking gear is meant to fit in a backpack. And I think that's like um, the best gear you can get for motorcycle camping because the only difference between motorcycle camping and just regular camping is you have less space so being able to fit your gear all in a bag at least like your shelter and stuff is super beneficial so in the next episode I'll be sharing my setup and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes but so far just riding with like everything fully loaded you know it's not bad it still feels like um, the handling is still still good. It's just when it, like you're at a stop, that's when like the bike feels heavy. But when you're going, it all feels the same. Crystal Lake Cafe is one of my go-to spots. Got some nice burgers there. I mean, when you're out here, you really just just thankful that there's a, a restaurant up top. So it's a good little ride there. Get to ride all these beautiful roads. That's that is that fishing poles. That's the next thing I need to do is get some fishing poles. It's like I have the whole mountain to myself. It's pretty awesome. Use a can. 
Canyon is such a great spot if you're in the SGV or even the, the IE in the Empire. Such a good ride. As you get um, higher in elevation, there's more like rocks, gravel in the road, so just keep an eye out for that. These tires feel pretty good. that since these tires are made for like long distance riding that they wouldn't handle well but yeah, they feel pretty much identical to my scorches it feels smooth for some reason I don't know like when I'm on the highway with these tires it feels very smooth it might be because I'm just used to riding on shite rubber for so long tires before these needed to be changed badly. I like Azusa Canyon because there's like different difficulty levels. Um, it's not too hard but it does get a little bit technical the higher you go. But as long as you're just chilling and not riding crazy, you'll be all right. Sometimes you just gotta get away from the city, right? I'm hoping I find a cool little camping spot. Stuff, chill. Oh, I picked up some bomb Italian food. Well, sandwich. I got an Italian sandwich at this deli called Claro's. Claro's? I'm not sure what it's called or how to pronounce it, but woo, I got the Angry Joe sandwich, I think. I'm looking forward to setting up camp, having my sandwich, and I also got an espresso soda. Oh gosh, this is getting tight. Oh good. I love going through the canyons like this. Feels like I'm on like a Disneyland ride. <laughs> Look at the map, it's just like <laughs> cool little tower. A lot of people take pictures there. Like they might be doing some construction there. Look at those misty puffs of cloud. Ooh, airflow. All right, we've been riding for like 35 minutes now. Insane how you can just go from LA to the woods in a matter of you know 30 minutes. Get a nice bird's eye view of the land. Scary. Look at that creepy ass tree. Creeping. One of these turns, you gotta be careful. You see there's trucks coming down. You don't wanna go over on any of these turns, yo. Every time I bring people, 
they go over the yellow line on that turn. So yeah, you gotta ride at your own pace out here. Wow, it's foggy. Very tight. Roads are a little beat up. So we're just taking it slow. Big trucks coming through, so. Gotta be on the lookout. Oh, I see some blue sky. this fork make a right This final road before Crystal Lake Cafe is always super bumpy and pretty tight as well, so take it easy over here. Beautiful, this is so worth it. Oh, hope you guys enjoyed the ride here to Crystal Lake Campground. I always recommend Azusa Canyon to my fellow motorcycle riders. It's a great canyon, got some good beginner turns as well as some intermediate advanced stuff. Just take it at your own pace and you'll be alright. I'm looking forward to getting this camp gear set up. This is going to be my first time really testing out my moto camping setup. So stay tuned for the next episode if you guys are interested in seeing how I packed for the trip. and. Um, the gear that I have, then you definitely want to stay tuned for the next episode. But um, I'm going to get packed up, eat my sandwich, and just enjoy this beautiful day in nature. As usual, ride safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. I probably should have set this up at home before I tried this out. <laughs> I think this is just like the cover.